Uh, now, morning. let's uh, get right into it. Now, are we going to see the cap for investments in equities uh, moved from 25% to 50%? I mean, there's been a lot of discussion around that. And most importantly, how soon are we going to see this come into play? Uh, hopefully in the next few weeks, we should be uh, revising our regulations. But essentially, it's not on a global basis. What we did as an industry was to introduce about four different types of funds uh, for the various uh, 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 retirement savings account holders. Now, the 50% relates to only those that would be by default under the type one fund. In other words, those who are less than 45 years of age. Now, the essence of that is to give them opportunity to invest in a more aggressive fund, uh, believing that, of course, they have time to contribute over a period. Now, for those who are 49, who remain in the default, so in other words, their maximum limits will still be 25%, while those who are above 50 years of age, uh, the maximum limit would remain at, uh, would, would be about 10%. Now, it's essentially, this is uh, an issue that relates to the age of the contributor. Mm. Well, Mr. Ahmed, you're saying, you know, the maximum uh, will be around 50 percent. Is there a minimum? I mean, currently, uh, uh, the investment yes. in, 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 in shares is around 10 percent. Yes, it is true. It is, it is 10 percent. Now, what we did, because it's an aggressive fund and to encourage uh, retirement account savings holders to take benefit of the variable income, we also introduced a minimum of 10 percent, but not for equities, but for all variable income. And that includes uh, uh, private equity and uh, uh, um, infrastructure funds that are also going to be introduced. So the maximum is the minimum rather is 10 percent for the type one fund, while for the type two, which is the default fund, is 5 percent. Now for the type three, which is those who are likely to have retired, that would not be minimum mm. because it is expected that substantial part of their funds should remain in fixed income. Now, Mr. Ahmad, I mean, like you said, uh, this is sort yes. of tailored for the younger investors who are more inclined towards risk. But the reality is they've been, there's been a lot of concern around risk when it comes to uh, the Nigerian stock market. Of course, a valid concern after the shock uh, yes. we saw in 2008. I mean, what are your thoughts right. on, on how many people really do want to invest in shares going forward? I, th I, th I think there has been, uh, if, if of recent, if you've been uh, watching the, the, the capital market, particularly the equities market, there, there, there have been uh, a lot of activities and um, uh, efforts uh, uh, being made to address some of the concerns. Uh, the Securities and Exchange Commission has uh, introduced a number of measures. As we are aware, we have a new management in the Nigerian Stock Exchange, and um, virtually all their, uh, their, 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 their targets have been made last year. And uh, this year they're also introducing, for instance, the, uh, the ETFs and other uh, instruments, which I believe the, the, the confidence has returned and, um, and, and, and gradually we should be in a position to uh, re-establish our position uh, prior to 2008. Mm. Well, thank you so much uh, for joining us okay. uh, on I the line, uh, giving okay. us a take on what PENCOM's plans are in terms of increasing the cap.